have I have been seeing a lot of stuff ever since I was on my vacation. But anyways, hey folks, it's me, M64 Bros, and there's been a ton of San Diego Comic Con teasers on, and we're gonna discuss them. But before we get to the animated stuff, which can easily take up this entire video, let's look at Marvel Studios' Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer and react to it, shall we? All right, we got their camera on prepared. Here goes nothing. Wakanda forever. Wow. Okay, not bad. Yo, that Marvel Studios looks cool. I love this song. Aww. Yo, not gonna lie, that trailer just sound pretty, pretty, not gonna lie, that trailer was actually very fantastic, and the song to it too. Alright, on to the other stuff. Okay, I'm gonna be honest and real, that trailer was absolutely beautiful and fantastic at the same time. Oh wait, I know why you're also here for, for the animated films, and I'm gonna tell you, some of them actually look not that bad. And we're gonna check them out right here and right now. So of course, the first one we're gonna look at is Spider-Man Freshman Year. And honestly, some of the character designs don't actually look that bad. What I love about Freshman Year so far is the art style and the character design looks something ripped straight out of Stan Lee and Steve Ditko's and Jack Kirby's like comic design. Not entirely comic book accurate, but I do love this character design for all the characters. As for the first Spider-Man suit screenshot we saw, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look that bad, but they could add in a little bit of red to the front shirt and that would be about it. But overall, the mask and the other stuff doesn't look that bad. Of course, as for Peter Parker's look, of course, they were tr they're trying to make him look like his MCU counterpart and make him look MCU accurate to his Tom Holland look and they did a fantastic job if you ask me. Of course, Doctor Strange is going to be in it, which is pretty cool. Alright, time for the confusing stuff. So during the E3 leaks and teaser stuff, we did get to see Spider-Man suit. Like we see the classic suit, the other suits, and I don't know if this is like a concept art or like officially going to be in this series, but we'll wait and see. The villains don't look that bad, but I'm surprised they brought in Norman Osborn and Dr. Otto Octavius. I mean, Doc Ock for the fact. What I mean by for the fact is the fact that Peter didn't even know who those cared people were like until Spider-Man No Way Home, of course. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? You guys probably get what I mean, hopefully. If not, then that's okay. Alternatively, if some of it doesn't make any sense, then that's okay. We can just pretend that this is just an alternate universe to the MCU. Since, of course, this show is supposed to be mentioning it takes place in the MCU where Spider-Man gets to become... 
Spider-Man, of course, during his early years. But overall, the Spider-Man freshman year looks very promising. And of course, we're gonna have to wait until 2024. I'll be 24 years old. Dang. But other than that, Spider-Man freshman year looks pretty good. Other than that, on to the next one. Oh boy, I was expecting a season two, but I can definitely do a series like this instead. But anyways, during the panel, we also are gonna get a first ever R-rated Marvel Studios show officially called Marvel Zombies. The article said it was confirmed that the upcoming Marvel Zombies animated series would be TVMA, with excuses promising that there would be much more gore. This series takes place in the same universe as the zombie universe that happened appeared in What If, and it will do more zombie fic heroes and villains such as Wanda, Mafra Ghost, Hawkeye, Captain Marvel, and Legless Captain America, and more. And by the looks of these screenshots, everything looks absolutely terrifying. And of course, we get to see the heroes themselves in a biker skull game along with other heroes as well, and of course a dead version of the Internals. Rest in peace for him. But of course, the one thing you guys are probably reading in my head is, where's Spider-Man? Well obviously, I'm hoping the same thing as well. I really, really hope they don't kill off Spider-Man in the series. Unless if they're going for a comic book storyline for that, I'll be completely sad and disappointed. But other than that, on to the next final part, of course, that will surprise most of you X-Men fans. Alright, let me tell you, X-Men 97 looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion. And the characters look exactly like their 97 counterparts from the original show. And honestly, the series itself looks very, very fantastic according to the first screenshots we received. The characters, of course, look a little bit buff, just like their original counterparts. And honestly, the background and everything else looks exactly like the series we saw when it first came out. I am absolutely really impressed. So impressed that I really wish they would do the same thing for Spectacular Spider-Man or Marvel's Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. But overall, we'll see how X-Men 97 does and I think it looks absolutely very promising. Other than that, that should be about it for now. But for a conclusion. So overall, these upcoming series looks very very promising so far. As long as Disney of course doesn't screw them up, it should be fine. But overall, I am st I am very excited for Spider-Man Freshman Year and X-Men 97. But yeah, other than that, we won't be able to see them for quite a while because I think some of these projects are coming next year while the others are coming, of course, in 2024. And damn, I'll be 24 during that time. But I'm alright and see what the future will look like for 2023. Oh yeah, uh, one more thing as a channel update. So next week, so this week will be my final week before my work schedule changes, so it means next week I'll be working on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So this means, hopefully, just hopefully I'll be able to play with you guys before I get ready for college. <clears throat> but don't, but however, I won't be free all, all the time, because of course, like, I'm busy some of the times and other times I have work, so I can't do YouTube. All, all the time. I also have family stuff and other real life stuff to do and college work and yeah. So I'm not like usually free all the time. I usually just text you guys on Discord with my phone of course. My trusty phone. But yeah, other than that, I'll let you guys know on Discord of what my plans are and other stuff and how I'm doing. And I might make more merch in the future. So yeah. Other than that, hope you guys like this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace out. Excelsior.